Today, we're looking at the most expensive and luxurious half-ton pickup truck that General Motors makes, the GMC Denali. And the one you see here costs over $80,000, including freight, plus about $10,000 worth of options. This Denali has the optional 6.2-liter V8, 22-inch wheels, and the new Multi-Pro tailgate. To make this Denali look upscale and impressive is a new all-chrome grille, chrome tow hooks, and 22-inch wheels that look right off a luxury sedan. An optional feature that I would invest in is the full-length running boards. So on all Sierra models, you get a larger step cutout in the bumper to get into the back. But if you want to take it to the next level, this is the optional multi-pro tailgate and it splits and folds in six different configurations. This is the one that's the direct competitor to the simple and quite elegant ladder design they have in the Ford F-150 pickups. There's a little handle that folds out here and inside the truck you go. Six different configurations for all kinds of purposes. Multi-pro. So this is a very nice interior for the Denali. If this was five years ago, the problem is the rest of the industry has marched forward, especially the brand new Ram, which has a very luxurious and quite eye-popping experience when you get inside. This looks like a warmed over version of what they've already done. Now technology, even though the screen is a bit smaller, is covered by General Motors. To General Motors credit, they have been at the leading edge of in-dash technology. This Denali is equipped with a four G LTE hotspot. Of course, because it's a GM, it comes with standard OnStar. It has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And of course, plenty of room on the inside. In fact, the back seat is larger. They made the cab longer by about three inches. One cool party trick is the rear view mirror. Sure, it's a mirror, but when you flick the switch, it turns into a backup camera projected onto the mirror. So just like the rest of the Sierra line, this Denali comes standard with a 5.3 liter V8. However, for about $3,000 more, you can opt for the larger 6.2 liter V8 engine, which I think would be worth it if you like more power or you use it for heavy work. Denali is the only truck in the GMC family to come with adaptive dampers. This is not the magnetic ride control used in the full-size pickups, more of a simplified system, excluding the magnetic feature. The maximum trailer towing capacity is 9,400 pounds, well below the main rival Ford with its 3.5-liter turbo V6 at 13,000 pounds. The Sierra is 360 pounds lighter thanks to aluminum used in the hood doors and exterior of the bed. If the buyer chooses the base engine, it comes with an 8-speed automatic. With the optional 6.2-liter engine, the transmission is a new 10-speed unit. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, doesn't Ford have a new 10-speed automatic transmission that they use in the F-150? Correct. It's the same transmission. Ford and General Motors co-developed that transmission. So the left and the right can get along. But what they do after they develop the transmission is unique to each company. Ford goes and programs their transmission with software and General Motors does it for this transmission. And I have to say, the transmission and the tuning in this GMC Denali is the high point of the vehicle. The shifts are oh so crisp, instantaneous. It really is fantastic and really quite different than the Ford unit. So this new truck has what's called the dynamic fuel management system, cylinder deactivation, but it's more than that. In fact, this engine has 17 different stages to eke out the best fuel economy. It can run, of course, on eight cylinders, six, four, and even down to two cylinders when you're using a very light load or even going downhill. The base V8 has 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. If you get this 6.2 liter, it has 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. So yes, you can get two V8 engines in this Denali, but the one I'm excited to drive, and I haven't had a chance to do that yet, is General Motors is introducing an inline six-cylinder diesel into their Sierra line of trucks. Now, how would I place this in drivability compared to the others in the marketplace? I still think that Ram is number one in terms of being smooth, quiet, and refined, but this is just a slight step behind. It's very comfortable. 
So this top-of-the-line GMC Denali certainly delivers with the engine and a fantastic transmission. It's expensive, but we found out people love trucks and they love luxury trucks, so it will sell.